bullshit right let's get on to this hopefully no one saw me doing that <laughs> no one around so I saw a farmer over there on his tractor doing his thing and uh right ah oh, I'll we'll sort that out later um check this out I love this place it's really nice I was just doing a bit of reading over here it turns out um Oh, someone else can, someone can help translate this. Oh, what's that, Nagi? Uh, this probably says something like it's 250 to 300 years old, and the, uh, the um, yeah, that says something. Right. Well, maybe someone can translate that for me. Someone out there. Anyways. Let us get on to this, shall we? Alright, now these all came from the same place. And they are what's up. <laughs> now, oh, uh, let's see. The main particulars. I will be selling these separately. Um, and due to the fact that uh, the cylindrical boxes, the, the thinner they are, the, the cheaper they are, because these will have to go via an international carrier. Um, standard post cannot handle such things. So, um, let's see now. I have, uh, I have some notes over here. Okay. Yeah. I dubbed the max damage. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I dubbed the Kurgan. Alright, that one there. Um, I dub the Punchy Poos. And I dub the dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's those thingies. Now, let us um this is really serious. <laughs> Alright. Now, uh max damage over here. Authentic Edo period spear. Um, is, let's see, uh, 214 centimeters long, and I'll have to get some, uh, some pictures in a minute of it. Now, uh, oh, none of this is scripted. Um, <laughs> uh, it will have to go via, uh, FedEx, and, um, the actual blade itself check that out. Whoa. Actually there's a slight amount of damage on the protector there. That's cool. Uh, this is a real deal Edo period piece. Now I knocked the blade out and took some pictures of it and also of the Kurgan. Uh, <laughs> um, and it's actually I can't just slide it out right now because it's quite, it's not super tight. I mean you'd you get a bit of a chisel there and just a uh, plastic hammer and, t -t 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 and you'll tap it out nicely. Um, there's your, you can see there, there's your hole for a, what originally would be a pin. Sometimes I use brass pins um, and sometimes a, a piece of uh, dowel, dowel wood like that. And there's no kanji on this particular blade. Now uh, you'll find maybe on YouTube, yeah on YouTube there, sometimes uh, people experiment with different types of weaponry and stuff like that to see their effectiveness and they found that this particular style of blade for the Yuri um, inflicted maximum damage that's why I call it max damage now you find this is the real deal Edo period I guess you could polish the blade if you wanted to or leave it as such um, it's just gorgeous, it's got beautiful Urushi lacquer lines in here, and down here, oh look at that, it's just gorgeous, dead straight, gorgeous, beautiful grain, 
Here's your registration paper. Now this here, that brass, and that piece there, um, that's iron and that's brass. That's generally how they do that. Like that, iron, brass. Like that, iron, brass. Okay, um, and this here, that's all fit nice and snug. That's nice and tight. I, mean, I guess you could put a little bit of bonding here and pop that back uh, as it as it sits if you wanted to. That's its registration paper right there. Real deal. Got another real deal, Yuri. Up on a listing there. I don't have rego papers for it, but it's um, it's it's the real deal also. Okay, so that that is max damage. Not just. Hopefully it won't all fall over. <laughs> right, I'll sort a uh, I'll sort some pictures out for that in a mini. Now, uh, how about we get on the monkey here? This is cool. This is the real deal. I've never had one of these before. It just wow. <laughs> wow, it's just cool. That'd be brass and iron. It's just awesome. Mm -hmm. There's your cool bow stuff with iron pieces of brass and iron right there. This is the real deal. This is Edo period. Look at that. Came from the same place as this as Punchy Poos did. I'll get onto that in a minute and you'll find that you know this comes from a real deal samurai combat training basho. So uh dojo. There you go, look at that. That is absolutely cool. This reminds me, I'm going to put on a decent price on this because this reminds me of when I was a kid and running around in the Sherbrooke Forest in Australia there and actually mum had this um, hedger, you know, you could do the, the hedging things and and uh, I managed to, as a kid, I managed to lop off the, the, <laughs> the end of it and run around in the forest with something like this. Dun, 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 dun. I love that show. I really did love that show. This thing just wow has to also go with the international carrier uh, the FedEx that's cool and be in a solid cylindrical box As, uh, and I'll tell you you give someone a bit of a bonk with this one like Pigsy used to get all the time and I'm telling you this thing you're gonna feel it <laughs> yeah you're gonna feel it right that is that's one of my favorite things yeah you can take your time buying that that's for sure okay now let us get on to this interesting piece right here also real deal Edo period it's just cool this was once once we were now Hang on, what I'm going to do is, see this is soft cushioned, um, what I'm going to do, hang on a second, I'll just lock that off. see in here this is the so that, that's an iron piece there okay like one of these dealies and it uh, once had that a blade once went through that this used to be a real deal yuri a yuri spear you can even see that the pin itself I put a torch down there and had a look you can see the pin itself is still there and what they've done is they've put this cushioning stuff, right? And as you can see in there, there's that blade thing that that's sort of all stuck in there because of this string thing. What I plan to do actually is send this and this and that uh, via uh, just normal standard post, 
that's what I'm going to have to do with that. Um, because it doesn't fit in the actual really thin cylindrical package that I plan for this in order to make it as cheap as possible but uh, so what happened way back in the day um, they felt that you know um, pricking each other with the, the blades every now and again wasn't exactly fun so they um, took the blade off slid the blade out and put that cushioning on it and this reminds me of uh, the film Karate Kid 4 <laughs> the kids on the top of the building and uh, Jackie Chan's giving him a right good punchy poos and uh, he's like well, when do I get a go with the sticks <laughs> that reminds me of that that's the real deal there you are. so that's cool that was a real deal from a training samurai combat yeah to uh, no, with Yari spear fighting combat training stuff cool who gets this stuff why why do you let me have this stuff okay now the piece de resistance let's have a look at this thingy here oh that's cool that's just cool not as straight as what it would have been way back in the day bit of bowing there oh, that's that is wow yeah imagine the the dudes that no, not even gonna think about just cool Okay, now we have in this particular one, the Kurgan here. Now uh, this is also a registered piece. I was about to say work on. <laughs> um, I don't know, voice recognition systems or something. Okay, now um, it's an AK. It's a nuclear bomb. Voice reckoning. Uh, now, this thing here, just absolutely beautiful. Straight. Look at that. Beautiful. Straight as. Beautiful, tight iron piece here. That sort of thing. Step into the ground, and then there's this cavalry come at them. Stand there shivering, going shit. Should not be at home drinking tea or something. Anyway, um, you. Beautiful, beautiful ring. This here, I took the, the pictures of the blade. Um, this here, you can see the blades in it, and you can see through there. So it doesn't have the pin itself. Uh, I didn't come with that, but you can get a little wooden dowel and put it in there. But it's unnecessary because it sits in really nice and tight. Check out this this hold out here. I might just slide it up a bit. Check out this blade protector. Isn't that gorgeous? Just beautiful. Yep, <clears throat> beauty and the savagery of this. Now the blade itself, that's just surface rust, very light. You could polish it if you wanted to, that's up to you. I wouldn't. Maybe it's just because I'm lazy and I'd rather be at home drinking beers right now. It's all cloudy and, and it did rain a bit earlier. You don't want to hear that story anyway. Right, now the blade sits in nice and snug. And uh, what I did was uh, just had a uh, plastic hammer and tap that out and taps out nice and easy not too easy but uh it's certainly snug that's for sure beautiful kanji written on the on the tang there and the blade was it come to about about here or sort of here or something like that it's, it's quite long indeed i think it was 46 centimeters the blade itself and the blade on the max damage i think i think that came to 41 centimeters yeah from what i recall right so there you are this thing here is is just really something i'm gonna have to well i had to pay a lot for it that's for sure and so you know with freight it's freight's expensive also that will um i'll send this piece 
see I haven't tapped it all the way back in but plan to take it out again um, you'll find that uh, oh you'll find that this piece actually it sits in see where just in here you can see it actually it wasn't around the other way which you could do but it's actually you'll find that it sits in just beautifully this way so you can see here you can either orient it this way or opposite but uh, I find that it sat in just it just went in and went yep that's where I'm supposed to be that's where I have been for many a century so like that now yeah as I say I haven't tapped the blade all the way back in um, because it is quite snug um, and I just use a soft piece on the end here and then tap it tap it in um, yeah so that would be that would come up good it's sharp oh yes and that would come up gorgeous uh, if that was polished but I think it's just gorgeous just the way it is and I'm sure that uh, many of you would agree um, full length blade included paperwork here um, the Kurgan full length with blade is uh, 262 centimeters right, so I'll, yeah I'll, I'll send I'll send the the staff itself um, via FedEx and then I'll send this with another carrier um, this piece and this piece uh, that piece does not come off so okay that's what I'll be doing and here is uh, did I mention that the, there's your registration papers right there and you will receive that also